Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage. Welcome to episode 29 of Civilization V's career on Emperor Difficulty. Things are going very, very well. We've finished our war with France. They're now down to a single city because they're still fighting Persia. So France may very well end up being removed from this game. No one's really willing to trade with me at the moment, which is making happiness a little bit difficult. Although we are managing to stay in the positives. We have managed to get our third great musician in the Atomic Era, which means we get our tourism bonus from Broadway. That's allowed me to pop a great scientist, and we're now only three turns away from satellites. Uh, I am actually working on the Great Firewall, but I'm going to use my great engineer to rush the Hubble Space Telescope, because we'll get two more free great scientists from that, and we get a free spaceship factory, so it's well worth grabbing that. Um... Cusco has grown. What tile are you working? You are working a tile which is mainly production. That is as fair a tile to work as any. Um, I'm not going to stop my cities from growing, but I I do want them to slow down their growth a little bit. Because Why isn't that railroad appeared? It never works. There we go. Um, I do want um, them to slow down a little bit, simply because I don't want to end up with uh, uh, negative happiness. So let's keep going around. We've got a cargo ship. That must have been one that we already had, so you can keep going back to Karakor. And we're still making decent money. Uh, you'll notice, if you missed the last video, then you should just go back and watch the last video. Uh, but you'll notice that my money's gone down. That was because last time I went and just literally bribed a whole load of city-states, um, mainly to try and give me a little bit more power in voting, because for this entire game, I've had basically no allies and hardly any votes. Um, so this will actually help me be able to put a little bit more pressure on the voting as to what we get. Uh, and also, I may well, because I'm making decent money, may well end up being in a position where we can just go ahead and get a diplomatic victory if we need to. So I'm just trying to keep my options open um, for, for what we can do at this point, basically. I, I'm definitely ruling out a, a domination victory. It would simply take too long. Most of the capital cities aren't coastal, which means I would need land units um, or at least air units along with uh, paratroopers, which I could do, but I think I'm so far ahead now in terms of science that we can easily get a scientific victory. Um, we may even be able to get a culture victory, and like I said, I'm potentially putting myself in a position where we could grab a um, diplomatic victory. Culture victory would be very hard. The highest culture at the moment is Morocco, and it would take us a long, long time. We're rising slowly with them. Um, is it actually going to tell me how many turns it would be? For some reason, no, it's not giving me the uh, the overlay anymore. I wonder if this is another bug with this uh, with this mod pack. Sure, I'm missing something. It used to tell you how many turns it would take. If you masked over any of these things, it used to tell you um, where the modifiers were coming from. Well, that does. Oh, you have to put it right over the number. So, yeah, penalty for differing ideologies. Yep, still isn't telling me how many turns. That's strange. I may have to have a look and see if there's an update for this mod. It seems to be causing some problems. Um, Cusco, we are working a couple of specialist slots, so it may be worth getting a garden in here. And then let us go... I mean, we've got a bit of tourism. Let's go and get broadcast towers wherever we can. We might as well. I'm not saying that we're specifically aiming for a cultural victory, but it'd be nice to see how close we could get to one. So let's definitely go ahead and do that. And we are working on the Great Firewall. Um, I, I doubt you'd be willing to go up to seven. No. Again, an, another AI that says it's friendly, but still won't give me a fair deal with anything. Yep, yeah, Napoleon's wrecked now. He's right down at the bottom. I'm not sure how long he's going to last. It doesn't look like Leon's being attacked. Um, oh, they're not at war anymore. Yeah, they're pieced out. Doesn't mean to say that he won't uh, attack him again soon. That's quite the possibility. So we're in a new era. We now have satellites. And we've discovered Mount Fuji. And, oh wow, El, El Dorado. Who has El Dorado? The Celts. It's not very often you see El Dorado in a game of Civilization V. It's one of the rarer um, uh, natural wonders. Um, five culture? I was sure El Dorado used to output gold. That's weird. No, just culture. 
I was almost certain El Dorado used to give you gold. Because it is the city of gold. Weird. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Anyway. There's El Dorado. And who has got... Oh, city-state. Okay, fair enough. Um, killed a Moroccan spy in Seoul. It's still trying to spy from us. It's not working out well for him. What would we like to research next? Of course, we need to queue something up. Let's get nuclear fission. And then let us go into... Well, let's go into telecommunications because then we can get the CNN tower. And then we will go into advanced ballistics and we can start building the SS boosters. So we start need to start getting spaceship parts. Uh, Zhenzhou has finished the medical lab. So Zhenzhou is going to start working on... They've got plenty of aluminium. We don't need a recycling center. So you're going to work on something. Do a stock exchange. You've got a fair decent amount of gold coming in. Um, we are working on the Great Firewall. But I think what we're going to do here is we're actually just going to switch to the Hubble. And we are going to move our Great Engineer in there and hurry production. So six turns left to get the Hubble Space Telescope. Um... Workers are now at the point where they're becoming redundant, but we do need to get this railroad finished. So let's get you up here uh, as quick. Well, in fact, we want we actually want you to go up here. So we'll do it that way. Cargo ship. I'll assume I had you on the best route. It may not still be the best route, but we'll continue with that anyway. On to the next turn. So as you can see, it's a quite an interesting map that we have. Um, I'll forgive you again, even though you, you keep doing it. Um, yeah, it's quite an interesting map. Um, it's basically two continents, and it's only separated by one tile. If this was a land tile, then it would all be one big continent. So, you know, these guys haven't really been able to spread. And if you look at Morocco, they've only got three cities, The AR, and most of that is desert. You know, the AI really hasn't expanded. Even Songhai is pretty small. Co World Congress becomes United Nations. The only people that actually re really got to grow was um, was Persia. But that's mainly because... Well, I suppose not, actually. I suppose Persia only had three cities before they grabbed Paris and Troy. So, yeah, the AI just really hasn't been able to, uh, to expand uh, on this. Uh, choose host. Well, we've got the most votes here, so uh, we're going to be the new host, I'm afraid, uh, France. You are, uh, you're out of this, you're out of luck this time. Um, so let us commit our delegates there. I've also got some more money, which now means I could go in and um, grab some more allies. You know, you are allied with uh, Songhai. There we go. Let's go and grab you. And uh, I could go and grab one of these ones, but I think I'll save the money. Let's go on to the next turn. Just going to literally buy buy out all of the. Uh, all of the city-states. I'm still going to keep all these units around here. It looks like France have finally upgraded to Great War Infantry. It's not really going to help them now they've only got a single city. Um, but Persia may well decide that they're going to come after me. Because on this side, they've only got city-states. So I might want to actually grab Hong Kong and Ify. Just so we've got a bit of protection on that side. Also, um, Hong Kong has... Oh, that, that tile actually randomly belongs to Susa. Um, but uh, Hong Kong has four uranium. So it may well be worth doing that. Daegu has grown. That was... Oh, Seoul's grown as well. Um, you're probably... Why does that keep disappearing? You're probably working all of the best tiles you can. Not worried about locking food tiles because we've got the problem of um, happiness. Well, it's not a problem, but it might become one soon. Um, yeah, that's a decent tile. We'll just go for, for the production there, I think. And um, Daegu's grown. What are we working here? The Atoll's not a bad tile, actually. Gains a little bit of extra production. Just slowing down on the growth and just putting a little bit more into production. Um, you guys are going to... Um, well, you've built the railroad, so we need to go this way now. So we're going to railroad across, uh, across here. Uh, because, obviously, these are city-states. I mean, we could upgrade that, but I just don't like having to cut through the city-state. And we've got plenty of income, so we don't need to worry about additional roads too much. Um... We have a worker here. Were you here for any specific reason? Did I send you here to do something? I probably didn't. I've forgotten. Um, either way, let us get you. Um, let us get you up here working on the roads. Why won't you go there? I've just told you. Go, 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 go here. There you go. 
on to the next turn. That was a little bit glitchy. This is a very nice mod, but it does appear to be a little, be a little bit glitchy sometimes. One, one problem that does occur a lot in battle, and it's not a problem that I've personally encountered because it's the first time that I've really used this mod, but I know that Marbazir encounters it loads, and that's sometimes when you're at war, there'll be a unit and it doesn't have the icon above its head, and the only way to actually get the icon to show is to um, basically put it in the strategic view and then switch it back. You may not have seen this strategic view before. Um, not a lot of people uh, use it. I know some people that actually play the entire game in this view. <laughs> and um, I personally find this view far more confusing uh, than just playing it normally. What's that up there? Oh, it's a snow hill. Um, so, yeah. But uh, toggling between the two is a good way to get the uh, icons to come back. We do still have a few tiles. We've also got this now, of course. I forgot that we now actually have Grand Mesa. Which um, gives us some more defense, but also gives us some more production. We can adopt a new policy. Well, we've completed aesthetics. Do we want to go into exploration? Why not? I don't think there's really anything useful. I mean, we could have grabbed a happiness tenant, but I've still got plenty of stadiums that I can build. And we'll get another one in 17 turns, so we're fine there. Cargo ship. Where were you going previous? Probably to somewhere... Oh, 19. But we can send you to Jane for 22, so we'll do that. And what about you? Where are you going? Oh, Saleh has just randomly appeared there. That's a little bit annoying. Because now I can't get out through that. Oh, you've got Tangier up there as well. Well, the AI really is just trying to basically spam out um, units wherever he can, isn't he? Uh, let's go on to the next turn. Well, spam out cities wherever he can. It is a strange thing, even though they did partially fix it in the in the last update and made it a little bit better, the AI does basically try and find any little piece of land that hasn't already got a, uh, that's a valid location for a city and will dump a city down there, regardless of whether or not it seems like a good idea. You know, even if it's a totally useless city, the AI will still dump a um, settler down if it can. This is the only problem, of course, with allying with a lot of the AIs, the, with the uh, city-states. It does mean the turns take a little bit longer. I should probably turn the uh, movement animation off, but never mind. Can I get ivory from anywhere? No, so I don't really need to worry about that. Declaration of Friendship has expired. Are you willing to get that back? Um, discussed. Declaration of Friendship. Yep, brilliant. Okay. Because we do still have a... Um, Research agreement with them. They're the only people we've been able to get a research agreement with the entire game. Uh, anywhere else that's within range in terms of jungle. No, I'm just going to literally start disbanding workers now. I generally have nothing left for them to do. So we're going to start getting rid of a few workers. There are still a few tiles that we can upgrade, but we don't need nearly as many workers as we can. Um... I'd sooner get three science back from Karakorum. Why do... Why does... Kar why is Karakorum giving me science? Um, that seems really weird. You've discovered 20 technologies that Genghis Khan does not know, and they're receiving zero science on that trade route due to their culture influence over you. Genghis Khan has discovered zero technologies that you do not know, and you're receiving three science on this route. Oh, because of culture influence, of course. I'm, cult I'm, I'm influential over them, so I actually receive science from them, even though they are behind me in terms of culture. Uh, in terms of science. I'll get it right in a minute. Long, long city-state turns. Is it my go yet? Barbarian turns. There shouldn't be many barbarians around. In fact, there shouldn't be any now, technically, because we've got the whole map uncovered. There shouldn't be able... Mind you, um, satellites reveals the map, but it doesn't reveal the fog of war. So if there are areas here which, you know, can't be seen, barbarians can still spawn in them. So I suppose that is valid. Uh, Busan has grown. You're working the food tile, which... You might not want to now. We might want to try and grab extra production. Extra science would be nice as well. He's still going to grow, so that's fine. Unit needing orders That is this worker. So you are going to go ahead and railroad here. We also want to get... The, well, we don't want to repair that tile because it's not ours, so we don't care about that. 
Um, worker, you can come over here and you can just go and repair that tile, actually. Um, cargo ship Daegu was previously going to um, Karakorum. We could get an extra gold per turn if we went to Rabat, but there again we might just prefer getting the extra science, so we'll carry on with that. 1,324 science per turn, 7 turns away from getting our next tech, 11 turns from getting another great engineer. We should be close to finishing the Hubble Space Telescope now, which will give us two free scientists. I love how um, he actually still wants to um, deal with us, even though he, you know, we basically wrecked him. Always nice when that happens. And it's that city-state turn again. Still got a couple of city-states that we're friendly with that we might be able to grab fairly easily. And one of them does actually have a mission for gold. We've got the Hubble Space Telescope. Brilliant. Peace Treaty has expired with... Napoleon, so we could go straight to war with them, but we won't. Um, let's just go over here, because you have this gold mission. Let's give you a thousand. That will probably annoy um, Songhai, but I don't care too much. How close are we with you? 40. Seems like a bit of a waste. We'll leave it for now. Uh, choose production. Cusco, you have finished your broadcast tower. Very well. Um... Do we want an airport over here? We don't actually need one. What I might... Oh, we could try and get the Louvre. So much nice stuff to get. I think what we will do, though, we'll get a stock exchange here because you've got decent gold coming in. We'll go over here to see Alts. Now working on the Great Firewall again. Um, you do have a hotel. At least you should have a hotel. Yeah, you do have a hotel. And then after that, we'll work on the Louvre, and we will... Can we get any extra production here? We don't have any um, anything nearby. We've probably got some cattle or something. Hydro plant. We do have a couple of river tiles. We are working them all. We've got the money, I guess. We can just go ahead and do that and just instantly improve our... Uh, Prove the amount that we're outputting. Um, we can get a, an airport here, which will improve the tourism. So we're on 119. Oh, we can't afford it now. That was idiotic. Oh, well, we'll do it on the next turn. It was the airport I should have been looking for, not the hotel. I got myself confused. Uh, you guys have finished that. You're going to go over here and start on a railroad. There's no farm here either, actually. It's very interesting. Um, we're going to go ahead and pop you. So now we've got nuclear fission and we're working on telecommunications. Um, we've got our other free site. Well, we'll save him for the next turn because sometimes it glitches out if you try to on the same turn. Do we have anything queued up after? Yes, we do have advanced ballistics. Um, I think what we may might do actually, because we're doing so fast, we've got telecommunications into the internet because it'll double our tourism output, uh, and then we'll go into advanced ballistics after that. So that will be quite nice. Um, so yeah, we're not going to use you on this turn. We'll go on to the next turn. Need some really decent out output now from some of these tiles. There's actually more river tiles here than I thought. I couldn't see those ones. I thought it was just these four. Um, but yeah, we've got some really nice stuff here. Uh, you want to go to war with Napoleon. As much as I'm happy to go to war with him, there's little point in me doing it now. Um, and to be fair, you're not close to him. I'm his neighbour, you're not. It's not really... A Napoleon's not a threat to anybody anymore. We'll just let him sort of sit there and just do his thing. Nobody cares. Might even be able to get um, the war robots in this. I haven't built those for a very, very... I don't think I've actually legitimately been able to build the giant death robots. Um, I was working on the Pentagon somewhere. Uh, I don't think I've been legitimately uh, able to build the giant death robots since I used to play the game on, like, Warlord or something, or Chieftain, in one of the very, very early difficulties. Uh, Pentagon is finished. Let's go ahead and work on a, um, a stadium. Um, we will now pop the Great Scientist. So now we have telecommunications. I really want to get the CN Tower and I want to get the National Visitor Center. 
because it provides a free broadcast tower in all cities, gives us more happiness. We are so far ahead, we should be able to hard build them all. I might have to start considering building some in other cities as well. Um, you're going to repair that tile. And we'll just make this the last turn and then we will have to finish the video. I honestly don't think France is going to attack. Still some people that haven't actually... Um, well, it's only Mongolia, actually, who hasn't managed to grab their um, ideology yet. And just looking at things, nobody else has actually... Well, it's just myself and uh, the Songhai that have gone order. But it's not like anybody's actually suffering any real, dip, uh, any real tourism pressure. We may well not be able to get a tourism victory. I'm... I'm you know, accepting that that is the thing. Um, just before we finish, we should be able to trade ivory for something. I don't have the spare crab to give you, so how about I give you nine gold per turn? Fantastic, because that will help some of our cities grow. Not that we want to be doing that too much, although we have got a little bit of a boost of happiness. Um, you're definitely not going to give me a, a, a fa fair trade there on wine, are you? No, so we're not even just gonna we're not even gonna entertain the idea. Um, cotton to Askia ended. Um, but that was it, just straight cotton. Yeah, it would be nice to get wine, but I don't think it's going to happen. So uh, that is basically the end of the video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you're still enjoying Civilization Five, and I will see you next time. Until then, goodbye for now.